Hey what's up guys, Kev here, and in this video today I will be explaining what kind of camera gear I brought with me to Iceland in order to shoot the Iceland vlog. First let me explain where I got my first DSLR. This DSLR came with uh, it's kit lens, an 18 to 55 millimeter, and this is a Canon Rebel T5 that Brian sold to me for 180 bucks. Now I first vlogged with this camera for about a year, and the problem with this camera, it's a good camera if you're not vlogging, but the, the screen does not flip out, so if I were to hold the camera like this and try to film myself, I could not see what I was shooting. Um, I, I just hope for the best that I was in focus. I kind of bypassed that problem when I made markings on the lens itself. I would uh, hold the camera at arm's length and I would make markings of where, at what zoom length and what focal length I would be, uh, sorry, yeah, at what zoom length and what focal length I would be in focus. Because the Canon T5 did not have a flip screen for a selfie view, I upgraded to the Canon Rebel T5i, which is what I'm shooting on right now. And this one does have a selfie screen. Uh, it also has microphone compatibility, while the T5 did not. The 18 to 55 millimeter lens, now this is really good for portrait shots and really good for uh, zooming in close for just getting a really good uh, depth of field. This lens that I'm shooting on right now is a wide angle Canon 10 to 18 millimeter lens. And so by wide angle, what I mean is that I could see a lot more, the crop is a lot bigger. So if I zoom out, you see all this, but if I zoom in, this is zoomed in all the way at, at uh, 18 millimeter and it's not that tight. So uh, it's probably, yeah, it's the same crop as this would be on if this was zoomed in on 18 millimeter. I really like the 10 to 18 millimeter Canon because it has a focus ring that is silent. So for autofocus, I could just tap on the screen and it will focus on whatever I tapped on and it'll track my face, but you won't hear the motor grinding while it's focusing. Versus with this lens, it does have autofocus, but like you would hear a very distinct like grinding noise uh, when it would try to focus. So the Rode mic is a shotgun mic uh, that plugs, there's a cord that plugs into the back of the mic and into the, uh, the camera. This mic is an upgrade from the built-in mic of the camera because with a shotgun mic, it only records audio that's directly in front of it. It blocks out any noise around it or behind the mic. I also brought this Gorilla Pod with me. So the Gorilla Pod is like, it's got three legs, it's very bendy, it can wrap around stuff, you could stand it up like so. It's very useful, I use it as a, as a selfie stick. I, I also use it as kind of like a stabilizer. Um, for those low shots, like I don't wanna crouch down and like hold the camera with my hands. Instead, I just mounted the camera and I would bend the Gorilla Pod as such. Oh, I just broke it. Tet, why'd you do this? Time for a new one. 